Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be all about my Ancestry DNA results. Not only am I gonna share my results with you guys, but I'm just gonna give you a little bit of insight on basically what comes in the kit, how the process works, and overall, is it worth your money and time? So if you're interested, stay tuned. Let's talk about the price, because I mean, that's really what's important, right? So the price of the Ancestry DNA kit right now, it's $99.99, I believe. $99, or if you want to round up, you can just say it's $100. Um, now, before you purchase your kit, I recommend looking for some type of discount code. I know for a fact that you can at least find a 10% off discount code, and that's what I did. Um, I was actually watching, well, first off, I had been wanting to do this, and I had been thinking about doing it, but I kept putting it off and putting it off, and then I actually watched, um, Jamie and Nikki, I don't know if you guys know them, but uh, they have a vlog channel. Um, they're such a cute family, but yeah. Basically, I was watching them. Um, they had a sponsored video with Ancestry DNA, and they were sharing their results, and then they also got a 10% off discount code. So I just went ahead and used that code. Um, I'm not sure if there still works, but I know for a fact you can probably Google it and find a 10% off discount code. So definitely don't buy this for full price because I mean, who doesn't want to save some money? Even if it's just like 10 bucks, still that's $10 that can go in your gas tank. Just saying. So I kind of wrote everything down because I am a rambler. I will ramble. Um, so this is just, I'm, if I'm, I'm looking down because I'm looking at my notes, it's just so I stay on track with the video and don't make this too long. Um, so basically, um, I got this, I did this test about two months ago. So the overall process took about six weeks from the time that I ordered my kit to the time I got my results. Um, they do tell you it's gonna take up to six to eight weeks, so that was very true. Mine took exactly pretty much uh, six weeks. The first thing you'll see is the lab, the collection bag. Okay, so this is gonna be, this is your solution. This is what you're gonna spit into. This is the tube that you're gonna get and you're gonna spit into it. Um, there's a black line and you're gonna spit to that line. Don't count the bubbles. <laughs> and there's also a cap to the tube that has this blue solution. So once you're done spitting into the tube, you're gonna tightly fit the cap on and give it a little shake, shake, shake. I think it says shake for five seconds. With detailed pincher, pincher. It comes with the detailed pitcher instructions, um, so that way you guys can, you know, have detailed directions. I mean, it's super easy, but it's nice to refer to the instructions just, just to make sure that you're doing everything correct. Give you a box to mail it. Like, put your spit, your tube of spit into the collection bag. Um, you then seal it. Remove this guy and then fold it down. They give you a box to mail it. So you'll just put this bad boy in there and then it's already got every all the info where it needs to go on there so you don't have to worry about anything like printing a label or anything like that. Bag into this guy and then you throw it in the mail and then you just wait, basically. All right, so now that you guys saw the kit and how the whole process works, um, once you get your results in, once all the testing is done, once you get your results in, um, they'll send them through your email. So you'll get an email alert just letting you know that your results are in, and then you'll log into your Ancestry DNA account and um, view your results from there. Now, I believe, I don't think you have to, actually no, I know that you don't have to um, buy the subscription, because they have, you know, you can buy a membership there, I think it's like, um, you can do monthly, I believe, or a yearly. Um, you can do a monthly or yearly subscription, you know, membership thing. I decided to not do it. I did do the free trial, so definitely try out the free trial. So, without further ado, let's get into my results. Okay, so, I'm gonna go from greatest to least. So, drum roll. Okay, so according to Ancestry DNA, I am 84% Africa. So yes, 84% of my DNA 
according to Ancestry DNA, is coming from Africa, the motherland. So duh. I mean, I knew that it was gonna be there. I knew that it was basically gonna be everything that I am, my makeup, everything. I knew that that was gonna be there. So yes, 84% of my DNA is coming from Africa. And then it also gives you a breakdown of where in Africa, you know, or from wherever your results come from. So it says, it gives me a breakdown of from where in Africa um, my DNA is pulling from. So within Africa, the highest percent was Nigeria, and that is 48%. So guys, basically, I'm like half Nigerian. Pretty much, I'm half Nigerian. So I was so excited about that. I thought that was so cool. Like honestly, I was not expecting, um, not that I wasn't expecting Nigeria to be in there. I mean, I really didn't know what was gonna be in there, but I wasn't shocked that Nigeria was in there. I was shocked at how high the percentage was. So if you're Nigerian, um, say hello, say something. Let's be friends, teach me some stuff. So I'm excited to learn more about that culture. Um, Cause I mean, that's, that's where my roots are. So that's super cool. So yes, got 48% for Nigeria. Um, next was Ivory Coast, Ghana and that was for 18%. And then the next one was Senegal. So I got 7% from Senegal. And then next, it just shows you the low, oh, oops. It shows you the low confidence region. So I wanna say anything maybe below seven or 6% is considered a trace region or a low confidence region. So for that, I got quite a few. So I got Africa Southeastern Bantu, that was 5%. I got African South Central Hunter Gatherers, 2%. Um, Benin Togo, 2%. And then Cameroon Congo, 2%. So those are all my results coming from Africa. Okay, so moving along, the next highest percentage was from Europe. So I knew that was gonna be there. So Europe, I got 15%. And then it also gives you a breakdown. So it is saying, it is saying 12% um, of my DNA from Europe is coming from Great Britain. So I thought that was really interesting because it's 15% overall and 12% of it is from Great Britain. So that's a pretty nice chunk of, you know, it's pretty much almost majority. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, I actually went to um, London back in 2014. I went on a study abroad trip, so, and I loved it there. I absolutely loved it. I wish that I could go back. Maybe one day I will get to go back there. And then the next were just the trace regions um, or low confidence regions. So I got 2% from Ireland. So I thought that was interesting. And then I got less than 1% um, Finland slash Northwest Russia. Okay, so yeah, those were my results for the European part of me. All right, so, okay, so we're almost done. I have one more um, place to share with you guys, so Next up is West Asia, and that was actually less than 1%. So very, like a little, a little bitty drop, a little, little, little tiny bit of drop. That's just how I look at it, like almost doesn't really count. But yeah, so it did show up on my test results. Um, West Asia, less than 1%. And, and then, you know, of course you get the breakdown. So it does say less than 1% Caucasus. So, gonna be completely honest, I didn't, off the top of my head, I didn't really know what that was. I was like, what is that? I feel stupid. And I clicked on the map to get a better idea of where that was coming from. And so you can click on the map. Also, it's gonna, it's gonna show you the map. And then also below, it gives you a little bit of history on that place. Um, so it says Caucasus. 
primarily located in Armenia. I can't pronounce that one. I'm not even gonna butcher it, forgive me. Um, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey. Um, so just to give you a general idea that those are the places that it is coming from. So my DNA, the little tiny bit coming from there could be from any of those places. But not only do you get your test results with Ancestry DNA, but once you get your test results, you can, you're gonna already have an account created. And whether you um, buy the membership or not, you can always still access those results. And then it also pairs you with a um, genetic community. So I got paired in the African Americans in the Deep South. Um, so it's just like a little community. It gives you a little overview, um, just a little snippet of what it says. It says, most African Americans in this genetic community can trace their ancestry back to West Africa. So all my, you know, um, basically all my results came from West Africa, Nigeria, Senegal, um, Ivory Coast, Ghana, um, all those places are in West Africa. So, I mean, this makes sense. Um, it says, over a hundred years, many were enslaved and brought to Virginia to work on tobacco farms. As new lands opened, sugar and cotton planters spread across the South, taking enslaved blacks with them. After the Civil War, many African Americans stayed in the South as farmers and sharecroppers. Later, as agriculture collapsed the segregation and segregation became legal, many were part of the Great Migration and headed to northern cities looking for jobs and a better life. So that was just like a little overview and then it goes, you know, it kind of breaks everything down as far as time period. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, also, it will show you um, some of your cousins, like kind of weird, right? So it'll um, show you, I think, your third cut. I think it might show some second cousins. Um, mine only showed some third cousins, so I think you get, it shows you some third cousins between third cousins and eighth cousins. So overall, do I think that this test is worth it? Yes, I do think that the test is worth the money. Um, it takes a while for it to get here, but just be patient. Um, I think this test is especially good for someone who is just curious about their ancestry who wants to, you know, maybe someone who's trying to put together a family tree and they're trying to piece everything together and you're missing some pieces, I think this test would be good for you. And also maybe for, maybe you're adopted or, you know, you just literally didn't know your mother or father or, you know, no one got to share that kind of information with you or, or just no one knows. My case is that just, I never was told anything, you know, deeper and because really we don't know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care guys, love ya. Hi guys. Say hi guys. This is, this is my dog, Ginger. Say hello. She's like bothering me, whining. Oh my God, oh God. She doesn't, she doesn't really like to be held like that. What do you want girl? What you want from me? What you, what she want? Somebody come get her. Somebody come get this dog.